I'm Yvonne Douglas. At first I intended this video to be a formal record of the early years of the Manukau City Band. But as well as music, the band is people. So this is really a record of the musical achievements and personalities of the people who met as strangers and became for a short time like a family, with its good, bad and fun times. It is also a record of the dedication to the band as an organisation by the Wiley and Douglas families. The photos used are from both our family albums. The live performance is recorded from 1984 onwards, were taped on a small handheld recorder as I walked along beside the band or sat in the audience. Before 1984, the band played popular tunes of the day and marches like our director, St Kilda and Hogan's Heroes. The overture, Fanfare for a New Era, was the Manukau City Band's opening number competing in the first ever National Concert Bands Festival held in 1988. One Tree Hill Silver Band conductor. They saw the need for a community band, as at the time many school leavers who were not in brass or symphonic bands dropped their music upon leaving the school band and the instruments provided. The idea was to encourage them to join with other senior players in the area to continue developing a love of music, and at the same time, the band would, at reasonable costs, give support to other groups fundraising for community needs like Gala Days, Christmas Parades for the Business Sector. At a meeting on the 6th of May 1971, the Kiwanis Club formed the Kiwanis Military Band to be a mix of brass and reed instruments. A sponsorship was given from the Kiwanis Club of $4,000, a ranged bank overdraft of $1,700, 32 instruments to be obtained from the Waihi Band, a uniform in the Kiwanis colours of blue and gold at an estimated cost of between $60 to $80 each. Fees were set at seniors $10 per year, students $5 and learners $1 per term or $3 a year. The Kiwanis members to run the band were Dave Baker as chairman and custodian, Bill Yates as secretary, Ralph Holmes band sergeant, Tom Collins librarian and committee member, Plus, other members were J. Sharplin and A. Archer, with Mrs. Potts to give music theory. Our family involvement began with our 12-year-old son Gordon hearing at school about the band starting up from Dave Baker's daughter. When the 32 instruments arrived, we all went to Dave Baker's garage, where Doug and Albert were handing out the instruments. Upon Gordon Sr. commenting on what a good idea the band was, and telling Albert he had played a corner many, many years previously in the Only Hunger Boys band, he was handed another corner and told to go home and teach his son to play. He was now a member of this band. Later in that first year, we were approached by the Kiwanis Club members as the project of running a band was proving too involved and expensive for a service club to handle. They would have to wind up the band unless the players could take over the responsibility. Gordon Douglas and three other players met with the Kiwanis Club 
members at Totra Park House. The outcome was that a bond issue be raised to cover the $4,000, that two members of the Kiwanis Club will remain on the band committee over the following years to give support to the band until the bonds were repaid. Gordon was to replace the Kiwanis Club acting chairman, Bill Yates. All the band members, family and friends, plus the Kiwanis Clubs from around Auckland, purchased the $10 bond shares. These bonds plus interest were repaid over the following five years with the selection of the bond numbers being made with a draw by ballot at the band's annual birthday social starting in June 1973. Fundraising during those early years by the band to purchase extra instruments and uniforms as well as to repay the bonds were helped by the supporters who donated back to the band the bond money and the many playouts and help given by the Kiwani Club with performances around Auckland and further afield at their conventions. Over the next few years, Gordon remained Chairman and Public Relations Officer for Publicity and Playouts, along with the following band committee members for 1972 and 73. Doug Wiley, Conductor, Reg Edwards, Drum Major, with Joseph N. Zanders, Steve Moran, Ken Green, Peter Fuchs, Jay Spencer, Lorna Spedding, Nolene Hancock, myself Yvonne Douglas, and Mr. Phillips, John Bullen, Joan Camel, John Brinkman, Bill Dennis, Ron Thompson, with Albert Sword taking over from Doug as conductor in late 1973 due to the start of Doug's ill health. The very first performance undertaken by the band was at the opening of the Manuera City Centre in Mace Road where they entertained on stage before the film and during the interval while the audience were served a glass of champagne. Although I have no recorded music of the band's first ten years, I remember the band played the number Words, a popular tune of the day. This is the only photo I have showing Doug Wiley conducting. It was taken at Southmore Shopping Centre around 1972. A Radio Pacific promotion, Fair and Guy Fox afternoon, that was held at Birkenhead North Shore. The band played for a mass display of marching teams. At the Totra Park, Senior citizens were entertained from Menuera and Bridge Court's Pensioner Village. Kiwana members provide transport. The band's associate members served afternoon tea. Maud Douglas is Gordon's mother from Bridge Court thanking the band. On that occasion at Totra Park, a formal photo of the band was taken. This is a snap I took at the same time. By memory, some of the players were Tommy Burr, Sharon Hill, Dennis Davison, Mike Bailey, Billy Sharplin, Noel and Ron Hancock, young Gordon and Georgina Douglas, Penda Wells, John Bullen, Steve Moran, Albert Sword, Doug Wiley, Gordon Douglas, Lorna Spedding, Bev Sherwood and Son, Reg Edwards, young boy Robinson, Glenn Thompson, Paul Brinkman and the Phillip children. Major Alec Maish forming the parade outside Manuera RSA. For a number of years, the band led the second section of the parade and played for the Anzac service, later entertained in the RSA club rooms. Thank you. 
photo shows bass drummer Bill Dennis, teenager Georgina Douglas, Roy Wiley around 16 years of age at the Manuera Soccer Gala Day in Gallagher Park. Extracts from the Korea newspaper, the Manuera Kiwanis Band hold an annual interband competition in which medals, certificates and shields are competed for. This year's winners are senior Penda Wells on bass, Intermediate Lorna Sherwood on tenor horn, Junior Jackie Kamel on clarinet, Georgina Douglas on drum, Lerner Amanda Dawson on flute, and the shield was jointly won by Bill Sharplin and Lorna Sherwood. Georgina Douglas on tenor drum. In 72 shot of Gordon Senior and Gordon Junior, who swapped their hats. 1974 bus trip to Taupo to stay overnight in a hostel for the Kiwanis Convention and the televised switching on of the flood lighting of Hooker Falls. Photo shows the band at practice and performances. Returning to extracts from the Korea newspaper, for the past three years Manuera and towns in and around Auckland have had the pleasure of seeing and hearing a band in blue uniform. The instruments of the band are cornets, trumpets, fugal and tenor horns, mellophones, baritones, euphoniums, trombones, basses, flutes, clarinets, saxophones and percussion instruments. They practice each Monday night in the Manuera Town Hall off Hall Road. John Bullen, Sharon Hill and Mike Bailey, Tom Sharplin, Pender Wells, and I think it may be Tommy Boo. We have turn trips leading the sing along Gordon Douglas and Peter Bugden on guitar. Social after performance, Reg Edwards making a point to John Spedding, in the rear in uniform is Steve Moran, and to the side is George Sherwood performances playing for the congregation coming out from church. Roy Wiley conducting.